Welcome Aries to your July Divine Guidance reading for 2020 Aries. So we've got some interesting things coming to you and let's get it in. All right, so we've got the Two of Staffs and we have the uh, Ten of Staffs in reverse. We got a lot of staffs going on. We got the Ten of Staffs in reverse. And we have the Swords card, Swords card, which is the Six of Swords in reverse. So we got some staffs and some swords going on. Let me tell you what you need to know for this month. Now, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. It's okay. It'll flow throughout the month of July. Keep a journal. See how it flows into your life. But it's good guidance. Know what's going on so that, that way you can um, guide your life appropriately as far as a divine guidance reading. Now, with the two of staffs going on this month, you want to make sure you take into account um, your personal observation of your choices made so far over the um, past six months. Okay, you want to make sure that you take a look at this. You know, look at the observation. Observe yourself. See what was going on. Take a personal evaluation, so to speak. Okay, so but with this 10, I'm sorry, this 10 of staffs in reverse, you may feel like you've been tricked too. So there's a couple of things going on. You may feel like you've been tricked into doing things that you don't normally do, but don't don't get into your emotions uh, with getting triggered over this. Don't get real triggered over this. You just did not handle the matters or failed to handle the matter, okay? So listen to that well. You may feel like you've been tricked into doing things, okay, that you normally, you don't do. Your emotions will get triggered, okay? You just did not, did not handle matters or you failed to handle matters, Aries, okay? Let that sit with you when you think about it, when you see like, hmm, I need to say that was going to come up, okay? That's in where we at, July. So with this Six of Swords here in reverse, you will state your position, Aries. Do it for you. Be selfish for you. State your claim. Be selfish for you. Um, state your position. Be about you this month. So that, that way you're taking some matters what back into control. We have Mars in Aries that has started this whole week coming in. So with Mars and Aries, it's going to give you a lot of creative energy, Aries. It's going to give you a lot of initiative. You're going to initiate some new projects. It's going to give you this surge for quite some time with Mars being in your sign. So take advantage of that if you got any goals, anything you're, you want to put out. If you've been thinking about going back to school, getting your creative juices flowing, maybe starting a business or using your more creative side as far as arts or photography, um, go on ahead and get busy with that so that that way you can see those doors open up for you, okay? I love you for watching today. Don't forget that just you just now knowing that we've just included, so go to the website at h https double colon slash slash, I think the spiritual seven dot com. There you will find your July horoscope 2020. It's very detailed according to the planets and the matters of love, money, and what else? Career. It is there for you. It's so beautifully uh, detailed there. I go into very detailed things that will help you navigate throughout the month of July with the planets. All right. I love you for watching today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to videos. Join us here on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, okay? Don't forget to click the wiggly bell down below so that you can get our notifications of our divine guidance readings that come on a daily basis. So many resources that are given here, including check us out on our website to see the services that we offer. I will see you next time, Aries. Don't forget to do a personal observation before I end. Uh, don't get triggered in your emotional emotions. Handle matters. Handle matters. Okay. And also be what selfish of uh, you. Do it for who you. Be selfish about you. See you next time. Bye bye.